Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Guys, in this one, I'm using Dynamic Corners, which is part of Vectorscribe. This is a, it's a paid uh, plugin. However, there are two week free trials that you can use it. And basically there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with Vectorscribe that isn't really native to Illustrator. And I'm gonna show you all of them. So let's just get started. The first one we wanna talk about here today is Dynamic Corners. I'm gonna make a video for each of the different sections. So um, we're gonna do Dynamic Corners in this one and then you'll see Dynamic Shapes and Path Scribe, et cetera, in future videos. All right, so here we go, guys. I've got some, just some basic stuff here set up. I've got some uh, rectangle and a couple triangles. And I'm gonna show you how the Dynamic Corners works. The first thing you'll do here is I'm gonna click on a triangle and then the dynamic corners is this guy here. Now, if, if you don't have it on the right side like this, you'll see it over here probably in your uh, toolbar. If you don't see it in your toolbar, you may have to go up to window, uh, go to toolbars, and then set it to advanced. It's possible, depending on what version you have, that it might not be showing. But it should be showing right here. So here we go. Dynamic corners. I'm going to left click on that. <clears throat> as soon as I do. Dynamic Corners loads out just like this. Now, it looks pretty uh, bare here. It's not a, got a lot going on here, but it's more powerful than you'd think. Uh, the first thing here we'll do is I'm going to show you as I, if I, as I select part of me, I'm going to go Direct Select Tool, and I'm going to select this here, and then I'm going to see here it says Click Select to, to Click to Select Dynamic Corners Tool. I'm going to left-click on that. Boom, it opens up, and you're going to see now that I've got some options here. This one here says 30 pixels. When I hover over a corner like this one, and this is remember, this is dynamic corners, you're going to see here that it shows you what the corner will look like if I was to click on it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make this a lot bigger so you can see it. So I'm going to make it to 100 pixels. And bang, when I hover over it like that, boom, we got, we got, oh, shoot, nope, never mind. Let's do 100 pixels. I'm going to click that again. Sorry, guys. 100 pixels, hover over, left click. There we go. We've got, we're changing the corners just like I said. Uh, so we've got the right, left, top, bottom, top, right. There we go. Now a couple things here I'll show you. There are three styles of corners or rounded corners with dynamic corners here. The first one here is the standard one. As you can see here, it's a regular corner. The next one is called negative corner. Now if we were to go ahead and left click on this, you're going to see here that this has now changed to an inverted or negative corner. If I click on this one and I click that button again, I'm basically it's like we're taking a bite out of a cookie. <laughs> so we've got negative corners here, as you can see. And the final one, and this one is very common in drafting and in, with carpentry, but this one's called chamfered corner. And this is basically just a straight bevel edge, just like this. So these are your options. I'm just going to go ahead and click on them here chamfered corners, straight corners, standard corners, negative corners, etc. Lots of cool things here. The other thing that I want to show you guys here is how to apply a selection to all corners. So if I was to go here and select the whole object, you could apply two selections. So if I wanted to do, let's say 60 pixels, and then I wanted that to be applied, I would click that and bang, 60 pixels, chamfer or no what is this one yeah, is this one chamfered yeah chamfered corner applied to the whole object so that's another thing you can do with dynamic corners um a couple other things i will show you is that these corner ha these handles here are draggable so you can drag them in and out as you see fit you can drag one or you can drag them all if you want to just drag one i'm going to left click on that and let's do this one here and it, you'll see that the other three are represented by arrows and this one is rep represented by a pixel or like a circle. This one means this one only is being dragged. So if I wanted this one to be in deep like that, there you go. We've got a cool new shape just with a single corner being dragged. The last thing you guys probably want to know about here is the options to use either true radius or standard. I will note that standard is very similar to what the Adobe Illustrator kind of has out of the box. And true radius is actually pretty unique to the uh, dynamic corners tool. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the selection tool, direct selection tool. I'm going to select this one here. I'm going to select the first triangle. I'm going to click to select dynamic corners. So I have to do that. And then it has this gigantic uh, number here that we don't want. Let's make this 30 pixels. And we're going to go true radius. Okay, come on. 
I could just do this right. And true radius, as you guys have seen, you'll see here. And then we're going to go with standard, which is different. So if we do true radius here, let's do true radius first. Basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to apply it to all the corners. That's true radius. And we're going to make these regular, pardon me. Let's make them regular, not the, or standard, not this chamfered corner bit. What you're going to see here is when I select 30 pixels, 30 pixels is the distance between the uh, radius point and the edge here. So this always 30 pixels. It's always the same. And if we do it to this one here, I'm going to use this next triangle. This one we're going to do, let's do, yeah, let's do this one with, uh, let's just do this one with um, standard. So I'm going to click to apply it. And then in standard, also 30 pixels, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And you're going to notice a little bit of a difference. Not a huge difference, but a little bit. They have different looks here on their corners. The distance between the radius point and the edge is not fixed depending on the angle. So these are the major differences between dynamic corners and the standard corner work inside of Adobe Illustrator. Guys, I have a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I'll be back soon.